Hey everyone, how's it going today and welcome back to another third stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update. So in today's update, I want to talk and revisit the unemployment benefits extension once again, but specifically talk about the $10,200 tax cut and specifically about how to actually physically get the tax cut. Because the great news is, is that the IRS actually has now officially released information now about the instructions and steps to how to actually physically get your up to $10,200 tax cut, depending on how much you owe in taxes. Uh, because as most of you guys know, is that in a previous video that I made, um, it's the one that's called $20,400 tax cut because that's the amount for a married couple. Um, and also put it at the very, very end screen. I talked a lot more about all of the details about the tax cut. So for example, the qualifications, how it works and everything related to that. Um, so you can even consider this maybe as like a part two to that specific video. Definitely check it out if you guys haven't done so but you really can be watching either one in really any order because they both kind of cover two different parts of it so we're gonna start it right on the spot but before we begin make sure you smash the like button especially in light of the fact we finally have an approval um consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button if you guys are interested in other videos related to this and other finance topics of course we're in the final stretch so you guys can kind of decide on that um and feel free as always to comment any questions thoughts about honestly just really anything at all i also just a little bit random but today i finally also got my stimulus check actually about an hour ago from when I'm basically filming this so I know some people are still waiting some people have already received it hopefully when you are watching this you've either already received it or it's basically at least pending in your bank account but feel free to share the status if you guys have any information about that so with that being said we're just gonna get started on the spot so when you're completing your taxes, you want to basically look up a form that's called Schedule 1 Form 1040. And you can Google this up. It should be directly off of the IRS website, but it's physically, once again, called Schedule 1 1040. And it basically looks like this. So if you file your taxes individually or if you happen to use an accountant, it's very likely that you're either going to have to complete this form or your accountant will eventually send this to you for you to basically complete. Now, if you happen to file through some kind of tax software, so like TurboTax, HR Block or anything like that, then it's very likely is that this form will already be put into the software when you are running through the steps of the software. Oh, I also forgot to mention, if you have actually already completed your taxes, um, then I'll probably talk a little bit about what to do next but the idea is that you should actually be set in the meantime for now but you may have to take action in the future and then this this video is kind of a step-by-step -step instruction to what you have to potentially maybe do uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about pe for people that maybe have already filed their taxes towards the end of this video but the general idea is that this is basically the form that you technically can use this for almost any kind of adjustments. But of course, in this specific case, we're going to be talking about the unemployment side of things about how to get that tax cut. So when you're looking at this form, the general idea is that boxes one to seven is all going to be about any kind of additional income, as you kind of can see from the tab that you collected. So you want to basically just write in straightforward, depending on what you have, um, if you have any kind of alimony, if you have like a business income, self-employment, anything like that, real estate, if you own a farm of some kind, probably the one that's going to relate to almost every single person is probably going to be box seven. That is going to be where you pretty much put in how much you collected on unemployment. And this is also adjusted from how much you actually physically took home before taxes. So the idea is that basically if you took home $8,000, then you would physically put down $8,000 as how much you collected as your taxes. When you actually get your tax report from your unemployment office, um, and it might even already be on the website, basically, I think the form is a 1099. Whatever you see on box one, I believe is the box, take that number and just throw it into box seven. It's basically how much money you collect on unemployment with everything adjusted aside from the tax side of things. So for example, like if you paid back some of the amount in taxes, if you were overpaid and there were certain adjustments, anything like that, you want to put down how much you physically took home in the end. Now, we're going to look at box 8 and 9 in just a little bit because there's actually a specific procedure for it. But when you move on to the bottom, which is basically box 10 to 21, this is the part where you basically write down any kind of potential adjustments that goes into it. So, for example, in part 1, you write down how much you collected as additional income. And then in part 
part two is when you pretty much write in the actual physical adjustments. So this could be anything such as like educational expenses, um, anything related to that, student loans, tuition, health savings account deductions. Now, if you happen to run into any of these questions and you just don't know the answer in general, then probably the best suggestion would be to either go to your accountant, um, which you probably already pay for anyway, um, and really just ask your accountant about that. Or actually, you can also just call the customer service line if you happen to use any kind of tax software. But really, in most situations, if you don't really know what that is, the likelihood is, is that the answer is probably zero because it probably means that it's something that's not necessarily related to you. So it's probably just something that really just doesn't apply. But again, that's why I always recommend is that if you're not sure and you want to be sure, probably the best bet would be to call your accountant if you have an accountant or call the customer service line to the tax software that you use to file your taxes. Now also keep in mind is exactly like how you normally would file your taxes is that if for any of these dollar amounts you happen to have some kind of negative money. So for example if you just happen to have maybe lost money um, then what you want to do is you just want to put down the amount and then just put it in parentheses. That's pretty much just what they what they use to kind of communicate any kind of loss of income. But probably the one that I know is going to be a little bit confusing is probably going to be lines 8. So line 8 actually is one of those interesting ones that actually has a really interesting interesting procedure for how to solve it. Um, the general idea is that once you have all of the other numbers plugged in, you want to just go through like a formula system. This is pretty much the instructions directly on the IRS website that was literally just released when the stimulus package um, thankfully finally just got approved several days later. Um, that was pre That's pretty much the instructions that you're going to have to go through. But after that, line 9 and line 22 is where you pretty much just add all of it together exactly like how it pretty much says it right in the instructions. And you should, thankfully from all of that, get the final numbers. Now on the official IRS website, they also interestingly did leave a little bit of instructions um, for how to complete line 7. So this is pretty much what they say if you just want to like read off on it. Um, but the general idea is that it's, it's pretty much just where you put down your unemployment income. Which should be pretty relatively straightforward, but if you just want to know like the details to um, how to calculate your numbers if you have like a much more detailed specific circumstance. Now do also keep in mind as we kind of just mentioned in the other video which once again I'll put at the end screen um, is that in order to collect all of these tax cuts you have to have made $150,000 or less as your adjusted gross income. If you happen to be unemployed, especially for most of last year, you probably do fit it. Really the part that this becomes interesting is really if you happen to be married and maybe one person happens to have just made a lot of money that particular um, year. So say maybe they did actually make over $150,000 in adjusted gross income, but then the other person was unemployed and did not make it. But since if you guys file married and jointly, then you would probably be excluded since you guys do your taxes together. But then beyond this is, is that if you happen to maybe be someone that has already officially filed your taxes, then the really, really great news is I believe that at this time, the IRS has specifically stated to just stay still, thankfully, so just to really just, just stay still and hang tight for now. I think the general idea is that they're either going to try to make the adjustments automatically, or they're maybe going to kind of do something where they send out instructions, but just later on in waves. So they may actually very much end up having you guys complete this form, but just not necessarily now. It's probably going to either be something that's going to happen sometime into the indefinite future, um, or they might even just take care of it automatically. So that would of course be the really, really great news about it. So you guys do not have to file any kind of tax amendment or anything like that. Um, that was what was believed, but I figured that because maybe they knew that so many people were going to do it and to avoid the situation of if you guys remember from like March 2020 with like 6 million people that filed for unemployment in a single week, if you guys remember that week, um, maybe shout out or comment if you guys do remember that. That I really think is the reason why they're trying to eliminate the amendment and try to do it in the smoothest way possible. But that's what I really wanted to talk about in today's video to really just clarify the step-by-step -step instructions because I know there were a lot of confusion about how to actually physically claim your taxes. Maybe smash the like button if you guys hopefully found that insightful. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button for other kinds of similar videos. Um, and as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about anything really at all. If I do end up having to overlook your comment, feel free to just comment it in any kind of recent video, even if that video is not necessarily related to unemployment, anything to basically 
basically just reach out. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Congrats to everyone who already got her stimulus checks. So, because I got mine earlier today too. Thank you guys so much again for watching.